Hello everybody, this is Max Farrow. This is Dex Trader and Trading Live with Max. Now, as anything, you want to show as many good trades as possible and you want to have a consistent consistent value of your trade trade life. But I also want to show you when things kind of go awry. Okay. Now, um, on my personal account, this is my personal account. I have a, I have a corporate account. My my personal account here um, is is in a little bit of shovel at the moment because I was trading the dailies from Dex Trader and had the daily for 34.40 uh, on there in a working order as I normally do. I had three other working orders on and the USDCAD got picked up and I got the alert that it got picked up and I was very concerned because it was it, it was pretty far. It was up 34.64. It was 24 pips up. So I, was, I wasn't too worried about it when it first happened, but I want to show you what happened. Here's the one minute chart for the USDCAD. Cover with a lot of lines. Don't worry about all the lines. Just look at this one bar. 64 pips in a minute. One minute. In fact, it was only really like 30 seconds that this happened with some shrinkage. So from that point to now, 96 pips. USDCAD is really affected by oil. Now, there was a little bit of news coming out at these particular times, but not enough for the daily to do this. So... The daily got picked up. Now, the daily got picked up at 3440. So why is there a 3400 trade on here? Well, simply enough, I believe that there is going to be some shrink back. That this is we we still got an hour and 10 minutes left. And I am looking at when the market does this particular type of thing, I want you to see this and hopefully we have enough uh, time and space to do this. Let me get to a 15 minute chart. You can see that there's always some pullback to these big impulsive moves that are happening. And I probably should have seen some of these impulse moves happening over the last couple of days. This is a big, this is the uh, market from the other day. So it's actually trying to get back to where it was prior to the weekend. And it has, it's, it's pushed way past that. So now what I'm hoping on being it's 15 minute chart is that we can get this back up in this, in this area up here about 3,400. Um, if we can, if it can get back up to about the 3,400, now it's just dropped off even further. That's crazy. Look at this. I don't think it's going to be getting back from that point. Hang on, let me get to the end. Look at this. Another big drop out here. Uh, Pound in us. That's another, that's another 9, 10 pips out of that process. So I don't really think it's going to re retract. But here's where my thinking was. Okay, because remember, I'm not always right. Right? But in, in speculating to try to recuperate from the one loss, I've let myself have another loss. But that's okay. Because... My risk to reward was I was only spending $7 per contract, okay, to get into a trade that could potentially yield me back 93 if it worked, okay? Because what I did is I came up to the next one up to 3,400 and seen that it was available. Now, here's, here's where hope is coming in. The closer this gets to, if it does push back up again, the closer this gets to 38 or 3,400, this will go into positive ROI because there's so much money on it. Okay, so even if it does shrink back into there with five contracts, just getting to five or ten dollars a thing to get to this positive ROI, I can scalp it out at that point if it's within reason. All right, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to stop the video here um, and see if we can come back. If not, I'll explain to the process. If anything, listen, I'm $111 in a hole. Okay, I've made several hundred bucks this week. I'm not, or for, from last week too, so I'm still up. I'm still, it's almost broke even for the day. Okay, so I'm not worried about it. This just doesn't make me not a good trader or ever want to be a trader again. So it, it's okay. These things happen. When this got filled, I took a, an opportunity to risk into that process, acceptable risk, $93 to, uh, to, to risk seven to get 93. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm Max. This is Dex. I'll see you in a second. In one of my previous videos, I stated that the, if, if a daily is going to lose, it's going to lose big. And that video you think would have been like a couple of months ago. But I said it this morning. <laughs> and, you know, I said, I trade the dailies and I trade them regularly. And I haven't lost in a long time. Maybe I have jinxed myself. I think I did. I think I jinxed myself. So here's what happened. We kind of know that the USDCAD had a big, giant movement downwards. And if we look, it's 128 pips from right now that movement the biggest movement of the entire thing was this one minute bar one minute it moved 60 pips it took another hour or so for it to move the rest of the way now 
when it was right around in this area, I figured that it would at least retrace back up to hopefully hit about 50%. So I was thinking about 3,400, which I was able to get into a good trade for about $7 a contract. Thinking for every $7 I spent, I would make 93 if it even came close to it. I could make at least $50 per dollar that I'd spent. Now, unfortunately, it didn't even do that. Got about 30 minutes left, and unless something comes out and tells the CAD or Canada explodes and the USD recuperates, I don't think it's gonna get there. So I'm in a loss for about $111. That's okay, it's a, it's a little bit of an amount. Now, for some of you that may have been in for more, if you had more contracts, the reason why I'm not worried is because my risk management saves me. I took a little bit of an edge off using some technical analysis to see if it could come back to hit this. This was a gamble as well. Now, I won't say a gamble like 50-50 roll the dice, but I'd say 70-30. I had a 30% chance that this would yield. And the good thing is, if it would have paid off, it would have been very nice. Even if it came close, it would have been nice. But you would have had to have some retracement. Since we didn't have that variable, just like fire without air, it couldn't work. So it didn't work. But listen, I made $60 earlier on the personal account. And so I'm happy. I'm happy that even though that I'm losing 60, I've made 60, I'm 60 in the hole. That's okay. I'll make that up. This is all about trading. It's not about being perfect. It's about trading. I wanted you to see this video because trading live with Max is just that. It's trading live. It's doing what you need to do. So I wanted you to be able to see that this does happen. Now, don't worry. There's plenty more trades coming. There's plenty more trade life in me. And I can't wait to see you next time. Now, I don't think this is going to come back. So unless it does, I'm really not going to make a video. Just think that it, it failed at this point. If you see another video, it'll be the congratulation. We made $495 from this trade. But if not, then it's, it's okay. I'm not worried about it. And neither should you. Take care. I'm Max. And as always, trade well.